Hello Pisces and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin and as you may have guessed I'm a Blunt Sagi. So thanks for checking out my channel. If you're guided to this video I hope there's a message here for you. This is a general read for the week of June 20th to the 26th for Pisces but as you're aware tarot is timeless so whenever you're guided to see this video it's for the following week. So I hope this resonates. I hope there's a message in for you and here for you. Let's get to it. So show me the cards of what is going on with Pisces for the week of June 20th to 26th and what they will need to hear or what they might need to know. So that's the Four of Wands and Strength. So what other cards do we have here? What other cards do we need to see? For Pisces, June 20th to the 26th. We have the lovers. So it's like something romantic a stern in your life, Pisces. Let's find out more. It's a pretty good start. We got the four of wands, strength, and the lovers. So please show us the rest of the message for Pisces for the week of June 20th to the 26th. I want flying. Give me a sec. So we have the eight of cups. Okay. Let's see what's going on here, Pisces. The star. And one more card. Talk to us and tell us what's going on with Pisces. There it is. <clears throat> the Hierophant. The overall energy is temperance. Okay. So before we dig deep into these cards, let's see what the energy oracle has to say. What advice do they have for Pisces? What message do you need to hear? What will benefit Pisces in this situation? So it appears that you, you have happiness in a relationship, but you walked away from it. Why you walked away from it, we're not quite sure. It took some strength. It took some courage. We're going to find out. Right now you're healing. You're trying to get enlightenment and inner happiness and inner peace. That's where you're at at the moment. That's what I see here. So let's find out from the Oracle cards the message that we have for you guys. Pisces, we have the Thinking Woman and Sixth Chakra Archangel Metatron. So <clears throat> when I read the Oracle cards, I do not interpret them. I simply read what the book says. That's how I believe that they're meant to be read and the message is meant to be received. So for the Thinking Woman, this card can show a woman holding a book, standing before a staircase, ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you into a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or, like the thinking man, it could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. And card number 40, Archangel Metatron. So this very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra or third eye, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, it indicates much greater clarity in your thought process and expanded perspective towards broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. Do what you want your life to look like, or excuse me, what do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is within you now, Pisces. So you're definitely looking and working towards personal enlightenment after leaving that relationship. And you're still working on your healing. So let's see what your must surrender to to heal from this, to heal from whatever happened between you and that relationship. What happened is surrender to unhealthy relationships. So let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. So let's find out why you walked away from this relationship you're you're in great patience for you know what well let's find out because i'm curious why did pisces walk away from this relationship it might be different for all of you whatever the relationship is but 
um, you're showing great patience anyways. So you're definitely showing patience in order to heal. And you have a lot of, you have strength, you have lovers, you have the star, you have the hierophant, you have temperance, you have a lot of major arcana. So you're going through major, major changes. This was a big relationship to you. I think this might have been important. So what happened to the Pisces to make them walk away? Because you had celebration, you had happiness, you had love, you had, let's see, you had commitment. Oh, you were betrayed. Somebody cheated on you. So there is a third party um, and they broke their commitment to you and you're manifesting a new beginning. So you're guarded, you're healed. I think it was unexpected. I, it took a lot of courage to leave because you were in, you loved this person, but you did walk away and you are healing and you'll get your happiness. So sorry that they did that to you, Pisces, but um, you will definitely manifest the, the future that you want. You just got to work through that pain. So what advice do the cards have for Pisces to help them through that betrayal? What advice do the cards have for Pisces to help them through this betrayal? What advice is here for you to help you get through that pain that you walked away from? The Eight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man. Show us one more card for Pisces the advice and some clarity to help them through the situation that they're facing. Page of Cups. Oh. So, although you're feeling stuck, if you continue to work on yourself and you continue to improve yourself, you'll you, you will learn from that experience and the, and you will have your new your new beginning, your new partnership. Um you just have to do your personal enlightenment and you really have to work on yourself and in, in order to avoid um, I'm, I'm hearing missing clues. Maybe there were signs. Maybe there was something there that you missed. And that's why it was so shocking and surprising. There was just something that you didn't catch. So if you continue to work on yourself and your intuition and enlightenment, the next page of cups that comes through, the next love, the next offer will be your soulmate. And it will be that right connection because you will have had the strength to recognize those patterns, to recognize those thoughts, to recognize those signs because you worked on yourself and you took the time between partnerships to work on you. You're being patient. So Pisces sounds great to me. So let's find out what your outcome is. How is this going to end for you in the near future? What's going to happen in the near future for you? What's the outcome for Pisces with this heartache and this, whoa, that is slightly too many cards. Oh, how many are there? All right, we'll take them. Ah, see the nine of cups. That's wish fulfillment, the chariot, the hierophant, and the two of pentacles. So I see fast change. I mean, um, definitely two paths coming at you. You're going to get your wish fulfillment. So whatever you're wishing for, whatever you're working towards, whatever it is that you want, you're going to get it. I think it's commitment. And I think you're going to have the choice is, are you ready now or do you want to wait? And it's going to come in fast. That page of cups, I think that offer is coming in fast and you're going to have to decide um, whether you want the commitment or whether you want to continue to work on yourself, but you are getting your wish fulfillment. So you're going to get the offer that you want. So naturally this is about love clearly Pisces. So let's get some advice from the romance oracles. What do they want to say to you? What advice do you have for Pisces? Whoa, that one flew. Let's see. Healing family issues. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe some of that inner healing that you have to do that will help you move past those missing those signs Something from childhood, something from your parents. So when you're working on yourself, look back at your roots, look back at your childhood, and, and maybe there's something there that you need to heal from. So I do have some Oracle cards here, Pisces, and let's see what messages they have for you, what you need to hear that will maybe help you heal and move past this betrayal. They're being honest with you. So whatever they said, they're not lying. You will meet the same people in different bodies until you learn your lesson. So it's time to end that cycle and find the courage to move past it. So here's the part of my readings where I do the yes or no questions. So if you have a question in mind, please pause the video. Think about it over and over. When you have that question, press play. And when you press play, the thought will be here. So pause the video now. What card does Pisces need to see? 
yes or no to the question that anyone got into this video it's answered yes or no what is the question for pisces who is watching this video and we'll need an answer that was way too many let's try that again one card please what is the answer for pisces that will be guided one flipped interesting that was in the wrong pile but <laughs> okay so whatever that's interesting whatever your it whatever your question was remove your guard and let them in came out for it so that is quite interesting we're still going to pull a yes or no but that's 100 percent a message for somebody whoever uh, that's for you um if you got to see this video so let's get the yes or no for pisces yes or no please for anyone else watching this video <laughs> yes or no what is the answer to their question no okay pisces that's all i have for you today i hope this resonated i hope this helps you along your journey until next time and i hope you heal because whatever they you know you didn't deserve that i hope you heal bye